From Mitchell Nevsik, thank you for your great draft coverage. First thing, shouldn't Trey Lance be included in the draft grades this year's class when grading the class? Second, not drafting a back stinks, but isn't a linebacker more valuable to this team than a running back? Uh, I do think you needed both. So, you know, half a dozen of one, six of the other to an extent, but I think you needed a running back more um, because I don't, your number one guy, even with Zeke, is I still think is Rico Dowdle, and he's never been healthy for a year. And I thought you had some really good backs on the board there in the third round. Um, I also, I'm not going to ding them for not taking Peyton Wilson. Like I actually took him off of off of the that little uh, the, the Mel Kiper video we did. Like what, what I would I, I took Peyton Wilson off that. He funked the medicals. So I, I'm going to give the Cowboys the benefit of, of the doubt there that the medicals didn't pass them. That's that's totally fine. Uh, back to Trey Lance. Sure, you can include, include that if, if you want. I don't know if it actually helps your grade, though, because you really needed that fourth-round pick for a running back. Uh, and the quarterback ended up not being available this year. He didn't play. It, for me, it doesn't really move the needle one way or the other. It's kind of the same grade for me. But if you want to include that, that's, that's totally fine. Couple super thanks I want to give some shout-outs to as well from Anthony Gonzalez, Tyrone Young, and Nathan Neal. All three had super thanks in between our last non-draft uh, show, which was Monday, last Monday, and the current one on Monday, April 29th. Uh, they were all draft-focused questions, so it kind of like goes out the window. But I do want to give you guys the shout-out because I appreciate you. Whenever you guys super thanks, we will give you a shout-out on the live shows. You can, and I'll respond to those comments for sure as well. You can click the thanks icon, edit your message, and send in your support. It will always be a super Thanks equals a super shout out. From Xavier Worthy Burner, who says he would have loved to draft Xavier Worthy, tracks, or the Jackie Robinson of corners in Cooper DeJean. But Guyton, Bruce Chris liked that one. But Guyton is a great pick. Said Ty Smith was a reach, was too raw, too many penalties, and the mean streak and edge was there. Same deal with Guyton. We know the Cowboys love penalties, so yeah, we'll see some bumps, but he'll be a mauler and his two all pros on the line to learn from. I, I will give the, the Cowboys credit, and the one thing I trust them is drafting offensive lines specifically in round one. They do a really good job there, and an offseason that has really limited the benefit of the doubt I am willing to give this Cowboys team, offensive tackle in round one is still one of them, at least for me. So did you like the pick of Tyler Guyton? A, B, C, D, or, or, I don't know how to talk about there. It's right on screen. Went full Ron Bergen, look at the wrong thing in the script. Why for yes and for no? I was, I was going to tell myself, don't grade it instead. And then I said the grade part out loud like a dumbass. Why for yes and for no? Do you like the pick of Tyler Guyton? It's the pinned comment. Go vote. This guy's an idiot. Chris B, sign Clayus Campbell and I'll feel better about the defensive line. I would agree. I would like to get Clayus Campbell on the roster uh, the Cowboys have a seemingly self-imposed imposed price tag of $5 million per player. Maybe he gets more. He got more than that last year. David Pope, why not try to get Algier? Atlanta has to feed Bijan. I, I would call about Tyler Algier. He'd be on my list. He had a really successful two seasons so far. They don't have much behind Bijan Robinson, though, But if it's not Tyler Algier. So I'm not sure how realistic it is. But Cowboys, you have to do the thing you haven't done all offseason. You got to pick up the phone first, and you got to work the lines. You can't just wait for others to call you. It's not how the NFL is supposed to do, do business. They're always do it well. Chris B., I know it's early, but 2025, uh, round one wide receiver if Dak signs. Probably, because uh, it would be Lamb. Is it? Lamb will be here. He will at least be franchise tag, hopefully paid by then. Uh, Brandon Cooks is a free agent. And then it's Jalen Tolbert, Cavante Turpin, who I think might also be a free agent. I got to double check that one because this will be year three. And he would be in the last year of his, of his like basically UDFA contract. So he might be a free agent too. Uh, Jalen Brooks and Ryan Flournoy. So yeah, uh, next year receiver is going to be a big focal point, I suspect. From Ruben. WTF, Zeke is not good. We need a better running back. That's my overall mindset that you, it's fine to add Zeke if you want him to be your short yardage power back. I think with 
hopefully coming back to Dallas, he can be better than what he was last year in New England that year. He wasn't very good, actually. But you, you, you can have realistic hope expectation of getting back to being a good short yardage guy. But he can't be your RB1. You have to add something else to the room. So hopefully Dallas does that. I'm also hopeful that the overall offensive line is going to do its job a lot better. They were not good last year in terms of run blocking either. You can get the Cowboys jersey for the first round pick, Tyler Guyton, over at chatsports.com slash Guyton. Link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show, chatsports.com slash Guyton. Dennis Bryant, is Miles Sanders too rich for the Cowboys blood? Great question, Dennis. Couple things to note on Sanders. He'd be owed $4.22 million uh, this upcoming year if traded for. He was terrible last year. He was legitimately like one of the worst backs in football. The supporting cast around him gets blamed, sure. If he gets cut, I am open to exploring the cheap one year deal, see if I can get back to his previous year's form. Maybe it was just not a good fit in Carolina. Given his age and previous history, I think you could hope for a better bounce back than some of the other available players out there on the market. Kareem Hunt, Cam Akers, et cetera. Roy Williams, if Kalen Carson impresses at training camp and preseason, could he stop or start? Um, I don't know if you could get... I think he's going to be an outside corner, which I have a tough time seeing him beating out Bland, especially with Lewis back there at the nickel, or maybe you try Bland at the nickel. Maybe. I think that my goal for Kalen Carson is I want him to be CB4. Week one, active on, on game day, backup cornerback. God forbid, knock on wood, somebody gets hurt. Carson is the first man up. That is my goal, and I think that is somewhat realistic. Brandon Montemayor, $5. Stant Tom, thank you for the draft content. Eagles drafted Mitchell and DeGene just to try and stop CD. Cooper DeGene, Billy Jean, CD by a million. I love it. Thank you very much, Brandon. Um, yeah, a lot of teams will, uh, there is a, a, a theory of, hey, you should draft to beat the best teams in your division, if not the conference. You know, so for Eagles, that's Dallas and Cowboys, and, or the Niners and the Lions even, and Cowboys, it's Eagles, the Niners, Lions, Packers, etc. cetera. Uh, they also need a quarterback help pretty badly. So I, I, I think uh, most people, even if you hate Philly, I thought that was a, a sensible pick. Jeff. Jets have drafted three backs in two years. Trade for Brees Hall. You are correct. They have done that, uh, drafting Brandon Allen, uh, or Braylon Allen, Isaiah Davis, and Israel Abanacanda. I don't think you're getting Brees Hall from them. Uh, he's too good. That was also a bad offensive line in New York, and Hall averaged like a full yard per carry more than Dalvin Cook. That's, that's why I didn't want Dalvin Cooked. Uh, I would have absolutely brought back Zeke over Dalvin Cook, frankly. Um, I, don't think, I don't think you're going to get Brees Hall. I think that's unrealistic, frankly. But call. Maybe if the Jets fall apart at the deadline, if, if Rodgers gets hurt again, they fall apart. Maybe call deadline. Name a player who you want to trade for. Sound off for me in the comments section right now. Texan third. Did Dan Quinn screw Mozzie over for having him lose weight, taking him out of his normal play style? I don't think, emphasis on the think, that it was the Cowboys who had asked Mozzie to lose weight. Um, I think to an extent, this was kind of like a, ah, they want me to be faster off the ball, I'll cut weight or whatever it was. I don't think it was a specific instruction. I do believe he has been specifically instructed to add more weight back, by the way. Um, I don't think it was a, a Dan Quinn making him lose weight, but I do think that the what the Cowboys asked out of via Dan Quinn and the organization overall of Mozzie wasn't quite what was good for him. I do think Zimmer can be better for for from for Mozzie than Dan Quinn was. TKG, don't get why we didn't draft a running back, but we got Zeke back, so we went all in. Uh, if we count Damian Wilson as an outside free agent, which I don't think we can because he was on the practice squad, but he was also he could have signed with anybody technically, so it's like a cheater there. Uh, the Cowboys signed as many players uh, on the Monday after the draft outside the team as they did the entire regular free agency period. Two. How about them apples? Vince, 
Why do the Eagles get that much more credit for free agency and the draft while they end up with the same record in the same division? Because they do more in free agency and the draft. They have won a Super Bowl more recently. They made it to the, uh, the conference championships games more recently. They are actively trying to get better despite, despite what Eagles fans are going to try to claim about, having a worse quarterback. I think there are several key players on your roster, Dak, Lamb, Micah, etc., that tend to overcome some of the other deficiencies there, but come playoff time when the margins get super thin and when the offense starts slowly again, those deficiencies become more obvious. The Cowboys haven't had a good ground game in the playoff loss in four years, and the same is almost true of the defense. The defense didn't, didn't play well this, this, this past game either. So the Eagles are actively trying things. Like the Cowboys aren't actively doing those things. From Matt, bring back Stephon Gilmore. Wouldn't get my hopes up there. Um, I'd be down. Do not get me wrong. I, I would be down. Um, but I would guess that he goes like Carolina or something. Or even back to New England. What do you think is the percent chance that Stephon Gilmore re-signs with the Dallas Cowboys. Go vote for me in the comment section right now.